Hey guys, I'm Mika and I am a home baker. We will be having a negotiation series for the entire month of October. So lahat ng ating videos for this month will actually be for the home bakers out there na nagnegosyo or naghahanap ng pagkakakitaan. So aside sa recipe, i-discuss din natin sa end ng video yung costing at the same time kung magkano yung possible kaya nakikitain for each product. So for this episode, we will talk about one of the classic uh, custard dessert that Pinoy's love and that is the leche flan. So, marami akong friends na nagtatanong kung bakit daw ba yung mga leche flan nila ay may mga butas-butas. Tapos yung iba naman kung bakit daw namumuo or nagkukurdle. So, pag-uusapan din natin yung mga tips and tricks mamaya kung paano maiwasan ito. So, get your steamers ready and let's start cooking! First, we're going to add in 2 tablespoons of sugar in our lianera. We will then caramelize this over low heat sa ating stove. Make sure to keep an eye on this to avoid burning the sugar. Once our sugar have completely dissolved and it's a dark golden color, it's done. Next, we are going to make our flan mixture. We have here 9 egg yolks in our bowl. You can also use whole eggs, but using entirely egg yolks would result to a creamier and denser flan. We are then going to add in our condensed milk and grab a whisk and slowly combine this together. Next, we're going to pour in our evaporated milk and vanilla. Para maiwasan ang butas-butas na leche flan, we're going to whisk this slowly in order to avoid creating air bubbles sa ating mixture. Yung air bubbles kasi yung nagkakreate ng butas-butas sa ating custard. After everything is well incorporated, we are then going to strain our mixture into our lianeras. Aside from filtering out some lumps and egg particles, straining also helps in popping some air bubbles. Depending on how big your lianera is, here we have a medium-sized pan and we poured in about 3 4 cup of the mixture. We then cover our flans with foil to avoid water drippings while steaming. The reason kung bakit nagkukurdle yung leche flan is because na overcook ito or sobrang lakas ng heat na nanggagaling sa ating steamer. So we want to make sure na we gently steam our flans kaya we are going to cook this on low heat for 40 to 45 minutes. We can insert a toothpick in the middle to check and when it comes out clean, it's done. We want to let this cool completely and then chill it in the fridge to set before we take it off the lanera. Now that our flans have chilled, we are going to use a small knife or spatula and run it down the sides and then pwede natin itong ibaliktad sa plate or sa tub na mismo. Thank you. 
And that's it! We now have our creamy leche flan. Actually, kung titignan natin, parang sobrang dali lang talaga gawin ng leche flan. Pero to be honest, medyo tricky talaga siya gawin at i-perfect. So, always remember lang yung mga tips na binigay ko para ma-avoid yung pagbubutas-butas, yung pagkakurdle, at medyo mapait na caramel. At sya ka, para ma-achieve nyo na din yung napaka-creamy na custard. So, since negosyo series ito, i-discuss na natin ngayon yung costing at the same time yung possible na kita. Makikita natin dito na in total we spent 124 pesos for this recipe. Since apat yung nagawa nating leche flan, so 124 divided by 4, 31 pesos yung cost per flan. Next, idagdag natin yung cost ng tub which is 11 pesos. So total cost per tub is 42 pesos. Of course, gusto natin ng 100% or more na markup sa ating product. I suggest you sell this at around 90 to 100 pesos. More than 100% na yung return nun. So kung ibibenta natin yung per tub ng 90 pesos, sa isang recipe, meron tayong 360 pesos. Deduct natin yung ating capital na 168 pesos. Meaning, sa isang recipe ng ating leche flan, kikita tayo ng 192 pesos. I hope nakatulong yung video natin today. Abangan nyo naman next week, meron na naman tayong panibagong video sa ating negosyo series. So don't forget to give this video a like and then subscribe to my channel. At the same time, click the notification bell na din para maging updated kayo lagi. Kita-kita na naman po tayo next week. Happy baking!